how did Johnny decide to be a clown every year for Halloween? He was a clown every year? Yeah, that was his costume. He and just didn't want a costume shop every year, was that no, it? No, what happened was Rob Zombie <laughs> came over with a clown outfit one day because Johnny was like, we had to go to a Halloween party. The four of us were going. And Rob was like, this is the only thing I have. And it was from a Rob Zombie show. <laughs> And it was like, and Johnny was like, yeah, but it's all kind of messy because it had all the silly string on it. Uh -huh. And Rob's like, well, it's good. It, it'll be funny. You'll be a clown. And Johnny was like, okay. And so he wore it, and we had this crazy, like, uh, mask that we got at Trashy Lingerie. Because uh -huh. I'd always go to Trashy Lingerie to have my dresses made. Yeah. And Johnny would sit there with Mitch on the couch and go, mm, no, half an inch shorter, an inch yeah. shorter. And then we <laughs> finally bought a clean one because it was kind of messy, Rob's. And that was it. And then he just stayed that. And he really, and like some years he'd go, not as Elvis, but he'd wear his black leather jacket with the Elvis glasses if he didn't want to get dressed up. Yeah. But, it's like a costume. Yeah. Kind of. But, but not really. Like, That's weird that you want to be a clown. Clown, you know, but it, it wasn't to Johnny. It was, it was funny. It's kind of funny to picture him being a clown. I yeah. Mean, a very, a very. I mean, sometimes when people see the photo, they go, wow. Johnny really did that, but you know, <laughs> Rob would come out with these insane costumes. One year he was like a grizzly bear, and Johnny was like, "Rob, are you okay under there?" And he's like, "No, it's really hot." And <laughs> Sherry was Corella Deville, and she like came out like amazing. Mm -hmm. So it's fun Halloween. One year Nick Cage had a crazy uh, Halloween costume party, mm -hmm. and a couple of uh, Lisa Marie's friends they all came as Johnny. Yeah, but they were all girls, <laughs> and he was like. Uh, I'm not sure if I like the idea that they're girls dressed up like me, but that's okay, you know. But they all had like the hair and the jean jacket. It was really funny. Yeah. I mean, that's the great thing about Halloween. I would imagine that haircut was, was kind of a lot of maintenance to maintain, that it was always the same I way. started cutting it yeah. early on. I mean, you always had different hair cutters in the yeah. beginning, you know. But later on, uh, not really, but he did do his hair every day. It is yeah. true. He, he blew dry his hair with the blower and, <laughs> and a Denman. And it had to be perfect. And if uh -huh. it wasn't perfect, he re wet his bangs and make them perfect. It was like very Johnny's perfect. Johnny's hair had to be perfect, but he had yeah. the best hair. Yeah. Like, it, you could be sitting 100 feet away and you could see his hair go up and back. And it looked amazing. Yeah. And in the beginning, Dee Dee, too. Uh -huh. Dee Dee had the most amazing hair, too. Before he chopped but, it all off. Yeah. yeah, but Didi didn't care. <laughs> Didi was the funniest. Didi, Didi was great. Well, so you also have such an amazing sense of style yourself. Do you have someone that custom makes your clothes and kind of what inspires your style? I love the 60s mm -hmm. and I love, I love some punk. I love some glitter. So I always try to put it in all together. One of the nice colorful closets. Here's another nice colorful closet of coats and hats. A little bit of fashion now. Here's some Carrez jackets, vintage Carrez that you can no longer wear. So I've decided to hang up everything and put my jewelry all around. So everything looks beautiful everywhere you look. From collectible Biba heads, Twiggy dolls, Twiggy tote bags, my tiaras. When I grew up, I watched that girl, Marlo Thomas, okay. and she lived in the city. So to me, that was like, wow, how do you live in the city? I live in Queens, you know? Uh -huh. So, and she always like had her bag matching her shoes. And so I liked that whole, that whole look. But then I like also like ruffles and, you know, 70s and, yeah. you know, Rolling Stones era that Anita Pallenberg and Marianne Faithful dressed up. Yeah. And I was always a big fan of Anne Margaret, you yeah. know? So I like every, I like it all, you know? Mm -hmm. All kind of retro styles pooling from the Yeah, and then I have like Henry Tawate is making our clothes right now. And, you know, he made my outfit for the tribute this year. Yeah, he makes all those cape outfits Yeah, he makes right? And Romulus from South Paradiso made a lot of cape outfits for me. I love the idea of the cape. Yeah. I don't know, I've, but I've always loved capes. Yeah. But like, if you go back and you look like St. Laurent used to make gorgeous capes and, you know, the old days of everybody, you know, in the 60s, you know, wearing capes and hats. Yeah. I just love... There's I something love about a cape up. that's so chic. I, and there's so <laughs> many, now you can buy capes too, yeah. which before it would be really hard. Like with eBay, 
mm -hmm. and vintage. The internet has made it a lot more um, accessible to find these things when you're looking for something really specific. Yeah, and they took away too because now everything's vintage. And that's not true. Everything is in vintage. Yeah. Things from the 90s are not vintage. <laughs> they, they shouldn't be. You yeah. know what I mean? I it's guess like it's, it's a new Versace jacket from the 90s is not vintage. Yeah. You know, yeah. it just isn't. I love Carrez jackets and I wore them all the time. But you know that they all started peeling. So now they're all hanging up. <laughs> yeah, as nice display pieces. Yeah, it's, because at that point, you can't really wear them anymore, yeah. but I love the idea of buying something and wearing it. Yeah, and I love the tiaras you wear. They're so sparkly, and I feel like that's a really bold piece that not a lot of people can pull off, and I think you do it really well. well. That's because of all the Disney princesses. Yeah. I start because I love Disney. Yeah. You know, and I've seen people over the years wear tiaras, though, but the funny thing about the Yours tiara, though. are the best because they're big. <laughs> yeah, this one, Hetty from St. Laurent gave it to me. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Everyone, when they see you in it, they mm -hmm. always ask if it's your birthday. Like, it's your birthday every day when you wear a tiara, <laughs> which is kind of nice. <laughs> or you're just the princess. Yeah. The princess wave. You know, right? <laughs> all the princesses have them, so it's kind of nice. <laughs> They're so pretty. And then I saw something. I saw an old feature of you with George Katsiopoulos, and you mentioned that boots are always your thing. You will not wear sh regular shoes, just boots. Yeah, I, that started... Can I ask about that? I love the boots. I think it looks really cool. Yeah, what happened was, in New York, wearing shoes, mm -hmm. I did a lot of the time because Johnny preferred shoes instead of boots, so maybe yeah. who knows why at that point. But it was never really comfortable wa wearing shoes in the city. Why? So I, Just because of the cracks in the sidewalk um. and the sewers and your heels get stuck. Yeah. So I always was liking boots. And then when, for some odd reason, when I moved out here, I started having this amazing boot collection. Yeah. I still have some shoes. Like I just bought a pair of St. Laurent shoes the other day. Okay. You know, and I always seem to either buy really super high heels or like that other, like the Twiggy shoe that I yeah. love or that, that Mark Bowling shoe that he has on, you know, that little like girl sandal, like, not a sandal, I hate open toe. Yeah. I'll never wear open toe, <laughs> ever. I hate open toe. Why is that? I don't know, I just don't, I don't like the look of it. Yeah. I really like a 60s, like, Max Factor looking, kind of old, you yeah. know, patent leather, you know, shoe. Yeah. But I don't know, I think for my look, I like the boot on it. Yeah. I don't know why, all of a sudden I got used to it then. I like the boots too. There's something about a boot that just makes you feel a little, maybe a little fancier, a little more special. And especially, I feel like when you're wearing really short dresses, it, it kind of complements it a little bit. It better. does. And I started <laughs> getting really amazing boots at Trash and Vaudeville. Yeah. So, yeah, one year they had all these like pony boots. And that's when I really started wearing kind of like the boot you have on. But they were like, they had them in like uh, red pony and blue. And me and my friend Anna Sweet would go buy them and they were like really. They were, they were great, and that's really when I started really liking boots, when I started getting more punk boots. First time I went to Paris, though, I went to Sasha, this uh -huh. brand, this shoe store, and they had beetle boots. Okay. And I never had seen beetle boots before like that, and they were like yellow suede, and because I grew up, I loved Nancy Sinatra. Yeah. So I would sit in my bedroom with my... These boots are made for walking boots because mm -hmm. I got them at Corvettes in yeah. Long Island because that's <laughs> they had those boots and they had like not they weren't quite as yellow as the Sasha ones but okay. they were like mustard and I would wear them all day and I'd have my little boots on walking around the house you know listening to Nancy Sinatra on my record player yeah so I always had good memories of them yeah. Boots are cool. Yeah, I mean, but I'll wear shoes sometimes. I mean, it's nice because then you, I guess you see your whole leg maybe, you know, but. It's overrated. A little. <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me and sharing all your stories. I really appreciate it. I'm Linda Ramone and you're watching Last Rock is TV. Gabba Gabba Hey. <laughs>